it is, the latest from Porsche. The German sports car maker pulled out all the stops with this latest incarnation of the legendary 911. Former rally driver Walter Röhl says the new car is not an evolution, but a revolution. That may seem hard to believe at first glance. The new 911 shape is the same as ever. But a closer look reveals that the car has grown. The wheelbase is 10 centimeters longer. The front track is wider. The rear window is larger. And there's no apparent engine compartment. When you open the rear cover, the only things that hint at an engine are the oil and window washer fluid caps. Inside, the central console rises steeply, much like in the 911's big brother, the Panamera, and a careful inspection reveals one detail that may not please every driver. Rule says if there's one thing he misses in the car, it's the manual parking brake. That's something a sports-oriented driver like him likes to have. And sporty driving is what the 911 is all about. This is the seventh generation of the famous Porsche, but it hasn't lost any of the genes that make the 911 a purebred sports car whether with Porsche's dual-clutch transmission or the company's new seven-speed manual. So far, it was the dual-clutch transmission with its seventh gear that offered the better fuel efficiency, but now people who want to shift manually can also enjoy the savings you get with that gear, which reduces engine speed by 19%. The new 911 manages to combine high performance with modest fuel consumption. The 3.4 liter engine produces 257 kilowatts, but needs just nine liters of fuel for 100 kilometers. And with the dual clutch transmission, fuel consumption drops to 8.2 liters for 100 kilometers. But Rural notes that the car has gotten faster too. It can finish on lap at the Nürburgring racetrack 14 seconds faster than its predecessor, an improvement that Porsche has never before achieved with a new model. At the same time, the car is much more comfortable, and it's that combination of performance and comfort that is what sets Porsche apart. The 911 sporty aspirations are clearly evident in the cockpit. Pneumatically adjustable bucket seats, a big color display, attractive chrome and leather appointments. And lots of buttons and controls. In addition to the 3.4 liter flat six, the car can also be had with a 3.8 liter engine. It generates 294 kilowatts and enables the car to sprint from zero to 100 in just four and a half seconds. Porsche chose California for the new 911's official premiere. Porsche's Wolfgang Hart says California is the company's most important U.S. market. Porsche has sold more than 270,000 911s in the U.S. in the last 40 years. So it made sense to introduce the car in California. In Germany, prices for the new 911 start at about 88,000 euros.